Python, lists are similar to arrays in other languages. Lists don't always have, uh, don't always have to be homogeneous, so this is a very powerful tool for data storage in Python. A single list can contain different data types like strings, integers, and even non-primitive objects. Lists are also extremely useful for implementation of stacks and queues, unlike some other data structures in Python that we will cover later. Uh, lists are mutable, and hence they can be modified even after their creation. Simply speaking, lists are a type of uh, container in data structures uh, which is used to store multiple data at a time. In Python, lists are ordered and have a fixed count. The indexing of element is in a list are according to a definite sequence and the indexing starts with zero as in most programming languages. I don't think you need to know that, but here, here we are. Each element in the list has a fixed place in the list. This allows us to create duplicates of the elements in lists uh, with each element having its own unique place. A uh, useful tip for uh, lists in Python is that they are very useful for preserving a sequence of data. So if you need to preserve a sequence of data, you can use, the li uh, use lists over other things like sets and dictionaries. And uh, it also makes it easy to iterate over uh, the list in sequential order. So later you can take uh, whatever steps necessary according to their position. All right, so let's let's dive into the examples. First, we will create a list, and then we will add data to that list. We will remove the data, and finally, we will slice the list. Slicing is also a very powerful tool. So let's get started with creating the list. All right, first, we'll just initialize the list. As you can see, it is just denoted by uh, square brackets, and the list is initialized. Now, if we print it at the moment you'll see that it is empty and it will just print nothing. It's an empty list. And now, since we have created the list, let's create a list with some values. All right. And let's try to print this. As you can see, the list is printed. Okay. So, we can also create multi-dimensional uh, lists in Python. This is very simple, just like we did uh, with the normal strings. We can write Python list, and then we can have another list. We can have another list, and that contains whatever values you want uh, you want it to contain. I'll just write multi-dimension. So as you can see, there is a list. This is the outer list, and this is the inner list. Okay, I think I messed up the spelling. All right, here we go. Now it is. Uh, now in list we have a multi-dimensional list. If we print it now, we'll be able to see that. See here we have our multi-dimensional list. All right. This is all <coughs> for the creation of list. Oh yeah, one more thing is that you can add, you can have multiple data types in your Python list. So you are like, just like some, most of other languages, you are not confined by one data type in a list. You can have multiple types. So I really like this feature of Python, but you also have to be very careful with this. Uh, anyhow, here's how you do that. This is list. This is one, this is one, this is two, and this is two. So this is string data type, and this one is integer data type. And you can have both in your list. And simply, we can check this like this. And the type is also preserved. See, this is a string, and this is an integer. OK. Now, we are over this creation of lists. Now, let's move on to adding the elements to the list. Basically speaking, we can add, uh, add objects to a list using append method. And also there is uh, another method called insert and extend. So basically, uh, let's start with append method. Let's say we have a list called Python 1,2,2. Okay. Now if we print it, we can see the list. Now. Let's add some add something to the list. As you can see, the append takes an object. It can be anything. So let's say appended. 
A P P E N D E D appended. Now we can print the list. See, this appended is added to the end of the list. So this is one, uh, whatever you want to call it, like limitation of append method, that the object is added at the end of the uh, list. So if you want to add any object to any uh, desired location in the list, you need to use extend method. Here's how you do that. Uh, not extend, I'm sorry, it's not extend, it's insert. So as you can see, insert takes an index and an object. So let's say you want to insert something to the first of the list, to the starting of the list. So you will write zero as list start zero and you will say uh, first object. And if you print it, you'll see that the first object is added to the beginning of the list. All right. Now using this append and extend method, append and uh, insert method, you can only add one object at a time. What if you want to add multiple objects at a time? If you want to add multiple objects at a time, you can simply use extend method. Let me show you. See, uh, let me just show you. Extend takes an iterable. If you can see, it takes an iterable object and there is a list. So you can have a list here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you print it, sorry, I messed up. If you print it, you will you'll see that 1, 2, 3, and 4 are added as individual items in the list. They are not a nested list, but it is added as uh, items, specific individual items at uh, different index in the list. Alright, so this is all about adding items to the list. Now let's move on to uh, retrieving the items from the list. Okay, let's initialize the list. Let's call it 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now we have our list. And getting the item from list is very easy. Just assume if you have any experience with any other programming language, you can just uh, print it using the index. So let's say you want to print the first one. So first one is 1. Let's say if you want to print the, uh, the what is the index of whatever, that's uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so that is 7, uh, whatever is printed. So this is very basic thing about getting the items of a list. Now, what if you have a nested list? Let me add. Sorry, not print. Let me insert a, a third position, another list. So it will be a nested list. Let's say nest, nested list. If we can print it, as you can see, there's a nested list in 0, 1, 2, 3. That is the fourth index. Uh, that means the fourth position, and the index is 3. If we do that, we can just do print to access the op to access objects of a nested list. We can just do that is the third the nested list is in the third index, and inside that give me the first element. So this is the third element of first list, our main list, this list, and this is the first element of the nested list. That is this thing. And see, we get nested. And if similarly we can do one, we'll get list. Let's just print it. So that's how you can access elements in a multi-dimensional list. Now, if you want to, uh, another uh, very powerful feature that I like in Python is you can print or you can get or uh, retrieve the data from the end. So if you can just do list and you want the last element, you can do last element is minus one. If you can do, if you want the second from the last, you can do minus 2 and you'll get 6 and that is the second from the last so this is a pretty cool trick that you can use in your uh, programs so we have covered initialization of list addition of items in the list retrieving the items in a list now let's go over you know, removing the objects of a list so 
again we'll start with initialization of a list list one item two three okay so our list is created as we can see here so what do you guys want to remove uh, let's say I just remove two let's remove these two things because they are on the integers among other string variable string values so to remove you just do uh, list dot remove two now keep in mind that this is not the index this is the actual value that it is removing so if the index was two the uh, zero one two item should be removed but if this is not the actual object's value this uh, sorry this is not the index value this is the object so two this two will be removed so okay let's just confirm my statement okay two is removed from this thing as you can see only three is remaining now similarly you can remove uh, what can you remove you can remove three and if you print it now there is no three All right now what if you want to remove objects from a specific position not just the la uh, not just uh, according to values but according to index in that case you can do pop now if you do pop without any parameters it will just pop the last item of the list in our case this is the I, uh, I item thing so if you pop it and then we print it as you can see there is no longer uh, there is no longer a item object in this now since uh, it's just two elements I'll just add some more let's just say let, let me add some more things like a comma one comma five comma okay let's just check the list okay some more items are added now if I want to remove a specific index then I can go print dot pop sorry not print I'm getting confused a lot let's dot pop and then I pass let's say the fourth one I don't know what the fourth one is uh, this is five the fourth index is removed that is zero one two three four that is five and if you print the list as we can see it is no longer there now one interesting thing about pop is unlike remove it gives you it actually gives you the value that was removed so if you do a equals to list dot pop uh, let's say fourth third uh, third index that is the fourth value and later you do print a you can see one was removed and one was one two three four the fourth index that is a very nice tool of pop that you actually get what was removed all right now finally this is the last part of our list tutorial and here we will be doing very powerful tool, tool that I like the most about Python's list is is what it is slicing this slicing is oh this is really beautiful man I am in love with this slicing tool okay now enough about my personal preferences let's just get into this okay let me create a long list one comma five comma whatever is writing I don't care I'll just type it and long list whatever actual whatever and there we go we have a long list now now what if you want just the four element from the end so you want these four things what do you do very simple you just oh this is very beautiful thing you just go minus four oops I messed it up it's not you just want these three you just want to exclude these four you just want to exclude the last four items from the list so you just say this thing this is empty means from the starting of the list and minus four means excluding the last four items so it's from the starting excluding the mine excluding the last four and that is the same thing and you can just exclude the last one like this see this last whatever is excluded and what if you want the list to be from specific indexes so let's say you want from second index to seventh index 
where is my list so you can see just from 0 1 2 from 2 to 4 is printed that is in, that is including the second third, and including the second and then including seventh I'm sorry I'm just blabbering uh, when you do this 2 and 7 it includes the uh, object in second index and it includes the object in seventh index so all the 4 and 2 is also included all right now let's say you want all the items to be printed ex starting from the fifth position uh, similar to this you start from fifth and you go to end this empty thing always means end so it's, it prints from fifth position not fifth, fifth five is actually yeah it starts from fifth position zero one two three four five from fifth to the last that is whatever all right this is printed now keep in mind that this is not the actual value this is the index so uh, if you leave empty like this we have left empty here it means this is zero uh, empty thing is zero and fifth five means fifth index that is sixth object all right now that is all this is pretty simple uh, yeah that will be all for this tutorial we have gone over how you can create lists how you can add items how you can uh, remove item how you can access items and how finally you can slice the list all right so this is all for this guys in the next one we will go over some other data structure that might be dictionary set or triple let me know if you have any problems and let me know which data structure you want me to go next all right if, you, if this helped you just give me a thumbs up uh, and like it will mean a lot to me thank you guys till next time happy coding